Okay, this review I've been wanting to do for quite some time now, the Lexus IS 250 with the F-Sport package and all-wheel drive. This car is clearly aimed at BMW and we're going to look at a few things in this video. We're going to try to answer a few questions whether the exterior styling is up to par, the interior design, the interior quality, the drivetrain and the chassis dynamics. So we're going to look at all that individually and determine whether it is as good as its German rival. Uh, it, for the exterior, I mean, it's for sure it's always a personal thing, but there are people with good taste and people with bad taste, and people with good taste will normally agree that this is in exterior is incredible. It's, it's really the best looking car. In person, it looks even better. Uh, I love like these eyelash light, uh, eyelash lights they look like you know eye, black eye color paint you know that football players use the proportions I took this shot because I like the front end it's not too big it's like it's got the right proportions of a sports sedan and the rear end is beautiful the rear three quarters is beautiful and the mags are the best looking in the entire industry uh, it's just it's just crazy these are best looking mags uh, Curiously, this car has a dual exhaust, which I found really interesting. Moving inside now. Now inside, it doesn't destroy its competition like the exterior does. Um, the interior design is excellent. In terms of the ex interior quality, um, it depends. Uh, the door panels, although they look good, they feel kind of cheap except for that red leather insert which is awesome um, the dash layout once again the design is good but on the right hand side the upper part of the dash is not made of an awesome material but the one on top of the instrument cluster is rear seat room is not incredibly plentiful but it is fine for the class if you're less than six feet you will fit and everything will be fine uh, four adults get in that car no problem for a long trip no problem um, I like that analog clock uh, the, center, the center stack leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, here it is, uh, the um, instrument cluster LFA style. I took a good shot of it because I know people liked it. Unfortunately, the, it was dark outside. I couldn't get the good shots. So let's listen to my comments on the road. You can tell they worked on the suspension a lot, a lot, a lot. Like the suspension is very good. Like the compromise between comfort and sportiness is it's very good I mean I don't know this or a 3 series oh, they put a better engine in it I'm getting a 3 series I'm getting this I mean, if they put a better engine in it I'm getting a I'm getting a Lexus and I'm gonna take this curve like an animal My god, so stable compared to previous Lexuses. So stable. I just drove my friend's uh, Lexus uh, not long ago. The previous Lexus to this, this one I, I drove. My goodness, it's, it's. They made a new car. Totally new car. Wow, that's the power of Toyota. In one generation, they can catch up to everyone. The driving position, like. Like, like this feels inside what the 3 Series should have been. That, that's, that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. Okay, I just put it in sport mode. Like the, da like the dash gets redder and redder as you go up the range. That's so cool. <laughs> I just gotta go down to cruising speed. is a little bit excessive over 110 kilometers an hour I'd say I feel there's there's more tire and wind noise than I would expect from a Lexus transmission is uh, it's got the right idea but it could use maybe a little bit more speed paddle shifters are very plasticky the leather is very good the leather is very good I mean the leather is very good. I'm, I'm fine with this leather. God, I love this engine sound. What the hell? What the hell? I love this engine sound. 
Oh god, they're they're nuts. Car makers are just Toyota's nuts. They're animals. They're animals. God, you don't have the haptics of the Germans though, huh? Uh, let's just uh, let's just go a little bit faster, shall we? I thought it would be. I, I understand why the reviewers are placing it first. My god, I can't believe this engine note! I cannot believe this. Compared to the previous IS, this engine sounded like shit. Wow, this is pretty good. Very good car. I love the way this car handles. Like it's a it's a good it's a good nine tenths car if you, if you follow what I'm saying. At the beginning, we asked a few questions. We asked, is the exterior styling German level? Is the interior German level? Is the fit and finish German level? Is the drivetrain German level? And is the chassis? German level. For the exterior, this car looks better than all its German rivals. That's it. This is the athlete in the suit. The BMW 3 Series is no longer the athlete in the suit. We can end that right now. We can argue about it. We can you can we got, we can argue about it. We can talk about it. But the bottom line is is this car just looks more compelling, more athletic, and better. The interior is nice. It really has a sporty cockpit feel. The haptics are not German level. The door panels are somewhat cheap. The I don't know the Solidity, I don't know, I can just, I can feel this steering wheel bend a little, I don't know why, that's just what it is, that's just what it is. Everything else though is German level or better. This dash is awesome. I like this protruding dash fighter jet layout stuff, you know. The leather is incredible, in fact, uh, this leather is stuck on to the foam in a patented process, which makes it not like foldy. You know, it just, this, 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 this car is like, it's, it's not a month old, it's like over a year old and it hasn't folded anywhere. It, it's, it's really nice, like, interior red door trim I find is freaking awesome. Not unlike an S5 we tested not long, not a long time ago. Imagine an S5, that's a $70,000 car. Little touches like inside the um, the door pulls. There's a little light at night. You know, it lights up. That's pretty awesome. This it's somewhat soft, the plastic here, but it feels cheap. The fake carbon fiber trim leaves a lot to be desired. I love the analog. <sighs> Interior is okay. It's Japanese great. It's German okay. The engine sucks but it sounds great I wasn't expecting that I really wasn't expecting that so you kind of enjoy driving it hard because this, the engine sounds so good automatic transmission not as good as the Germans of course just listen the drivetrain is not as good as the Germans but they put a great exhaust note on it and that's that's a lot like the other Germans are offering four cylinders. They don't sound as good as this. What about the driving experience? I wasn't. I didn't drive it ten tenths because it's not my car. It's a relative's car, and I don't want to be. A, I don't want to be an idiot. But I drove it nine tenths, and it was very good. The, the range. That's a better term. The range between comfort and handling. I mean, it's better than the Germans. It's better than the Germans. Like. You know when you hit bumps in city driving, low speed, you know, it's not jarring, yet it rides like as it's on rails. I mean, that's why this car is a winner. 
I'm not even going to talk about reliability and all those things which Lexus destroys everyone, the long-term reliability, but I'm not mentioning it because nobody cares about reliability on a three to four year lease. I mean, pretty much all these cars are very reliable. Maybe with BMW, they tend to have maybe... There's all, you always have a little problem with BMW. You always have to end up going to the dealer during your lease because there's a little electronics problem. But the steering wheel feels good. I, I'm impressed. Oh, yes, another thing. The, the bolstering of the seats. Like, these seats are heavily bolstered. But I don't know. They, they, they feel really comfortable. They're not... I don't know. They're just, they just feel great. And they're soft. They're very soft, like they're not that German hardness, which is different. I don't know which one is better, like I can't wrap my head around that, but I think the German seats are a bit better, but I mean, these are very good. Um, this is a car you can buy without envying the Germans, just because of the aesthetic quality of the interior, the driving dynamics, the wonderful engine note and the class leading exterior styling this nothing looks as good as this under fifty thousand dollars I don't care what anybody says this is the best looking car with the best looking mags it's a winner